You're now live. Hi. What? <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you saying right now? Cape. Gammon. Gamma. Good girl. Joy. Good morning. Morning. Hey, aren't you guys excited to see me? Yeah. What else are you going to say hi to? Morning. Good morning, Mary. Morning. What's today? Today is Friday. Fridays <laughs> with Faith. Who's that? Is that Uncle Becky? Yeah. Hi, Auntie Becky. And Elisa? Uh-huh. Oh, thank you, Mary. Faith is, we were just talking about this. Faith is in a long line of Faith Kellys. There is the original Faith, Faith Lovell Kelly, so F-L-K. And then there's Faith Olivia Kelly. That's my sister, right? And uh -huh. then there's Zoe Faith she in that's her daughter your cousin and then there's faith l kelly faith lee chen kelly which is this one who else is here don't read those i'll read my texts <laughs> it just swapped up good morning kelt what a deb morning there she is that's sonia hi sonia hi deb Who's hey, on? mom. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. How does my voice get on? She, I don't know. It's so weird. She just rolls over <laughs> and turns on her phone. Right? <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. So is there anything you want to t uh, talk about before we meditate? No? Hi, Beth. I'm... There's Eva and Lena. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, Laura. Hi, Beth. Everyone's so excited for Fridays. I swear, they only get up because you're here. Do you know that? I didn't know that. Get, Thank you so much. And you know what they do? They uh, no, Nobody really meditates. We just stare into the They stare at the, the picture to make sure that you're <laughs> meditating. <laughs> Thank no, you. I'm, I'm just kidding. Hi, Deb. Good morning, neighbor Laura, and Val, and Sarah, Eva. Hi, everyone. Good morning. How are your kittens? Beth wants to know. Beth was Beth's they, been They lots are um, they are in good homes, but uh, my favorite kitten. Muffin, he lives right across the street. We gave him to our neighbor. So I sometimes get to visit him or I get to watch him when she's away. He's a big cat now. I was yeah. thinking about him this morning. Just how cute he used to be and now how big he is. But what a sweet boy, right? Mm -hmm. Morning, Margie and Lee and Jen Kelly. Thank you, Auntie Becky. See, Becky notices. Becky notices everything. <laughs> Good morning. S. Coggins Yoga and K. MacDonald. 1857, right? Yeah. Hi, Nancy. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Fridays with... Hey! And what are we going to, what makes today so special, Faith? Just your energy? The, the, the what? The chi you bring to the table? Okay. Right? Yeah. And there's Karen. Hi. Um, is today the only day you work? No. Okay. Um, uh, hi, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning, Karen. Morning. Thought it was somebody's birthday today, and I had to ask Faith. Um, all right, you want to meditate? Mm-hmm. Okay. I like hair. 
Thank you. Uh, all right, so what do you want to say? Anything? You just want to meditate. You want to meditate just sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Do you med uh, We meditate sometimes on top, like literally. I'll do this, right? And mm. I'm, we meditate. All right. All right. Fate's gonna go back there, and we are gonna get ready make to. This little space bigger. I should I make it bigger. You, you know what I should do? I should get a bigger. Maybe I should get a bigger uh, office. Right? Or push oh, this out? Basement. I sure do. So, I see you. Thank you, Laura. Uh, so, we're going to round out the week. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't believe we're into our fourth week of this already. I don't know where the time goes or everything just seems to be flying by. But as we get into fall, um, this week we're kind of going to wrap up our labeling uh, meditation. I still want to go with the, the, the technique of being able to, um, see it, name it, tame it. And like I said, you can do that outside of, of meditate, uh, outside of meditating. It can be a technique that you use, uh, throughout, throughout your day. And a lot of the classes that, that I end up teaching, I, I often will leave by saying, yes, meditation, if you just meditate, then you'll start to see changes in your life. Usually, uh, changes that will help you break out of habitual reactive uh, negative patterns in your life. And then you can start to institute more positive uh, qualities of mind. But there are techniques that you can use like a see it, name it, tame it. And really the way that I kind of want to uh, cultivate that is through um, asking yourself a few questions. So a lot of the times you can notice if you're stressed, um, is it worth stressing about? So asking yourself, it's usually after I've done something that turns into a more negative um, response where you can ask yourself, is this, was this worth getting stressed about, right? And then you can apply the see it, name it, tame it. So, so see, you know, where does, where does this, um, uh, where do you feel it in the body? Uh, is it, uh, can, is there a shape to it? Is there a color to it? Is there uh, some type of a, a sensation? Um, we use our body as the barometer outside of meditation. So we try to see it as you breathe in or you're trying to breathe yourself back to the moment. You're seeing what the actual negative um, action was. Uh, you try to name it or you think about the memory of it. Uh, what was the memory of, of getting you to that spot? And then uh, what is your desire? What do you what do you want from it? So I always ask myself uh, two, two or three questions um, after some type of negative experience that I've had. Uh, I try to ask myself, was it worth stressing about? That's the most important. And then once you've built that bubble around it, right, like that, that sphere of awareness around the present moment, then you can make a different choice. So I ask myself, is the choice I'm about to make good for me? And is the choice I'm about to make good for the people that I care about most, so the people around you, the, my, my family? Because sometimes choices are good for you, but they don't feel right. And really, the, it, if we're combining all the techniques that we use throughout the week, then you can certainly do that with the focus meditation because you're able to see things more clearly when you're distracted. Then you use your body as a barometer by doing a brief scan of the body and saying, okay, well, where do I feel this? Where is this discomfort? Uh, is this choice good for me? It's going gonna, it, it's gonna to elicit either a yum or a yuck response. So um, you can feel it. It's comfort, discomfort. Okay, if it's comfort, then go ahead and make that choice. Uh, so really, if you're going about this weekend, I want us to kind of apply the see it, name it, uh, tame it approach to our moments and see if we can break out of some of these samsaric patterns that we get caught up in. Um, that lead us into more negative thinking and more negative choices um, so we can get more out of our lives. So um, we'll wrap up this week. Uh, we'll do a little bit of labeling in the meditation. And um, does that sound good to you, Faith? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Great. So let's get started. Yay. Yay. Let's find our most comfortable seat. Get as comfortable as you can. Prop yourself up, use a pillow if you need to. And we'll gently close our eyes. And what I'd like to do is just start 
by noticing how you physically feel in the body. So go ahead and feel, doing a brief scan of the body. You can start with the feet and kind of work your way up. Notice how you feel any tension as you scan up the legs, the hips, lower back. As you're gently breathing in and out, just becoming aware, do the shoulders feel tight? And go ahead and manually roll the head from side to side. You roll it in a circle front to back, lower back to front, just to kind of wake up those areas. And then same with the shoulders. And then get as comfortable as you can. Now, now that you're aware of how you might physically feel, let's get as comfortable as we can. And we'll ask ourselves our three questions. So most of you know I like to ask myself these three questions most mornings before I meditate to help center myself figure out what my intentions are. So I invite you to silently ask yourself these questions. And much like our mindfulness definition, I just want you to notice what arises after you ask the question and then try not to judge the answers. So go ahead, ask yourself, what do I want? I mean, no, let's, let's do that again. Faith, I messed up. Let's go ahead and ask ourselves, who am I? Who am I? So silently ask yourself a few times, who am I? And then try to listen for an answer. You'll notice you'll get all different types of answers. Who you think you should be. Threads of who you are. And we just practice non-judgment. We ask it again. But now let's let that go. Let's ask ourselves, what do I want? So what do you really want to see happen in these next or last few months of this year? Notice you'll get broad answers, stereotypical answers. But just keep asking the question. Notice what arises. Try not to judge the answers, particularly if those answers are physical or material. But also, don't judge them if they're spiritual or emotional. Sometimes I'll even just say, no, what do I really want? Last question is, what is my dharma? What is my purpose? I really believe we have a unique purpose on this planet. We have a skill or a talent that nobody else has, and I'll often tell my kids, I don't care what it is you do with your life, as long as you find something that you're passionate about, find something that you're good at, and use it to... How can I help? So just keep asking yourself, how can I help?
Now we can take a deep breath in through the nose, really let it fill up the lungs. And we'll let go of our questions. We'll break free from those subconscious beliefs, old programming, things that no longer serve us. We'll turn our attention back to the breath. And we'll do that by trying to figure out where we feel the breath the strongest. So we're gonna center ourselves on this Friday with the breath, we'll make that the anchor. We'll notice when we drift away and we'll keep trying to bring our attention gently back to the breath. So in order to do that, we need to figure out where we're feeling the breath. So keep in mind, we tend to feel it differently on different days and I invite you to play around with it. If you're used to it in one area, make a conscious choice to try another area. But let's start at the nose because that's our conditioning. We start at the nose and work our way down. We breathe in, notice sensation. As you breathe out, see if you can feel pressure. Notice the temperature. Or simply try your best to place your attention right at the tip of your nose and just think in and out. and bring your attention down. Let's bring it down to the chest area, the same idea. So as you breathe in, can you feel that sense of expansion? Can you feel the shoulders drop? Can you ease a little bit more into the seat as you gently tap into that relaxation quality? Finally, we'll bring our attention down to the abdomen, feeling that sense of expansion. Feel the pressure as the abdomen expands on the inhale. Feel it gently settle on the exhale. And then go ahead, take a moment, decide where you want to place your awareness for the rest of our meditation, whether it's in the nostrils, the chest, or the abdomen. Go ahead, pick one. And as you gently place your attention there, keep the quality of your attention relaxed. Don't overly force yourself to stay there. Start there, make it the center stage, our starting point. And then I want you to notice as many times as you can, how many times you get distracted and whether that's by a sound, a sensation, a thought, or some type of emotion. We're just becoming like detectives. We're investigating with a little bit of kindness towards ourselves what the distraction is. And every time we become aware, we recognize the distraction. We practice accepting that, yes, we are distracted. And that's great. The mind's job is to produce thought. Our job is to become aware when we're thinking. So we can create more choice points. Instead of going back into that repetitive thought pattern. So the first step is waking up the awareness to the distraction. 
You can mindfully label it a thought, a feeling, sensation, something general, and then breathe ourselves back to the moment. So this breath, distraction, awareness of distraction, back to the breath. And you can keep repeating that process many, many times. So lastly, I just want to say to let go or practice letting go of any expectations you have of how this meditation should feel this morning. If you keep wishing it was better than yesterday's or the same as yesterday's, keep looking for a mood or emotion, I want you to treat that as a thought too. You can mindfully label it and gently come back to the breath. And so we'll keep meditating in this way. I'm going to keep an eye on the time. And so when you hear me ring the bowl, we'll still continue to sit with our eyes still closed.
with your eyes still closed, go ahead, let go of the practice and just rest. Go ahead and start to deepen your awareness back into the room. You can do that by just slowly, gently rolling the head from side to side, front to back, maybe in a big circle, and then rolling the shoulders back to front, kind of waking up your awareness. Massage the hands, whatever you need to do, and when it's comfortable, go ahead and open your eyes. Namaste. Well, thank you everyone for another fantastic week. Please let me know if you have any questions. Now's the best time to ask questions. Um, Faith, how did you do? You want to come back up? How did you do? Yeah? Yeah. Did you get distracted? Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah. Because you're aware, right? And when you're aware you're distracted, what, what did you do? I, um, put like a spear on it. You kind of put a spear on the awareness? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Nancy. Have a great weekend, Elisa. Thank you. Carla says hi. Hi. Hi, Carla. Miss you guys. Thanks, Cape Gamma. Thank yeah, you. You can put it. Put your. You, you can put a put a sphere, or you put a spear on your awareness, and then you practice coming back to the moment with the breath. Yes. Thanks, uh, Beth. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. Have a great Miss weekend. You, buddy. Thanks, Mary. Sonia. And Dev. I didn't see Dev. Hey, Dev. Be well. Please, please be well, be healthy. And get outside. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. Happy Friday to Karen. She is a breath of fresh air, right? Uh -huh. You are a breath of fresh air. Thank you, Sonia. I do not know what that means. You, when you come into a room, it's like when cool air comes in from the outside, it's like, <sighs> you just, what do I do whenever you walk into a room? <laughs> I smile, right? Mm -hmm. Even if I'm in like the grumpiest moods, I smile. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Rebecca, Suzanne. Hello. Oh, hi, Zoe. Have a good day at school. Good luck in the gym this weekend. Miss you so much. Thanks, Barb. All right, so everyone, make sure you practice some yoga this weekend. Get outside this weekend. Go for a hike this weekend. In New England, it's supposed to be in our area, anyway, in the Boston area. It should, should be the best weekend to view some of the foliage. Mm -hmm. and maybe, we'll, maybe we'll even do a little raking, right? Maybe. 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 We like to wait till November 1st. But uh, everyone have a great weekend, and thank you so much for coming again, and let's do this again next week. You want to namaste him out? Yeah. Okay, ready? Thank you so much for coming. Namaste. Good girl. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Take care.